Ha ha. I'm closer to 50 than 40 and I went to the park with my niece last summer. Went crazy on this overhead spinning thing. Now my left shoulder requires surgery and I'm waiting. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's awful sad face. Bad knees and backs. We play. We just have to be careful lol. We just don't recover from falls like we used to. Yeah. Decided to pick up skateboarding in my late 30s. One facial scar. One twisted ankle. One ruined beach vacation. And zero insurance plans later I realized this was a terrible idea. Size becomes an issue at some point. For example the swings in the public parks where I live are hard plastic and the chains are set apart so that anyone older than a typical middle schooler wouldn't fit. Also we aldos, especially those of us without children, tend to become out of practice. Being a petite woman probably works in my favor on this front. Lack of energy mostly. I do climb and run around with my kids, but boy, does it wear me out. My damn knees are sore just thinking about it. If you fall from a tree at 13, you will heal that broken arm in three weeks. If you have that same fall at 40, your shit needs surgery. And never heals properly. Also, why climb trees when I e spent thousands of dollars on PC and fishing equipment? Adults who want to play do rock climbing at gyms or cliffs, play on organized sports teams, etc. There are plenty of adults who play. They just don't do it on random trees and playgrounds built for children. That said, most adults just sit on the couch and watch TV. Taking the kids to soft play is a chance for the grown-ups to either a uh, sit and do sod all be, have an excuse to play on the stuff too. The novelty wore off for me when something was bouncy and my pelvic floor wussed out. I just stick to sitting and drinking hot chocolate while the kids play now. Win-win. I'm 38 and injure myself sleeping. No way in hell am I climbing a tree ever again. What I've found, is if you start being a little more active, and build up to being fairly active, you injure yourself sleeping less. It's amazing how many aches and pains come from weak muscles unable to support joints and stuff. That being said, as a 30-year-old, tree climbing outside of a climbing deer stand is probably a no-go for me as well. It's not the climbing that scares me, but the falling. Greater than definitely never see people over 40, doing these things. You never see people over 40 bowling? That is, like 90% of the people at my bowling alley. Right? My friends and I go bowling about once a month, and that's with an age range of late 20s to early 50s. Cuz we're all too tired. 29. And I've been asking for swift and sudden death for two years. Not in a bad way. More like a merciful way. Playgrounds aren't built for adults. I just took my kids to a huge indoor park. Even though parents are welcome to play on it, it's hard. I chased my five-year-old and she darted down a tube at warp speed crawl. I got stuck and spent five minutes entangling myself to get through. My knees hurt from slowly inching through those tubes a dozen times. My back hurts so bad I can't sleep from ducking down to avoid bars set for under five feet tall humans. I got stuck in the curly slide twice, hurt myself a couple times in the foam pit because it's meant for kids 50 pounds not 145. This stuff just isn't our height or weight. Now if they made this stuff with full grown adult clearance, it wouldn't be so bad. But my ass doesn't fit a four inch swing. Greater than foam pit. Ugh fucking foam pits. You think getting out of them is going to be like getting out of a pool? No problem. Shit is fucking quicksand. Dude. I'm 66 and you Jay just described me to AT, with the exception of the part about puking. Many adults play plenty. They just can afford more expensive toys like boats, motorcycles, ATVs, camping equipment, hunting and fishing gear, etc. I like your style smiley face. Childish women are considered cute and quirky. Dot. Childish grown men are accused of being predators or creepy. 
I am a pretty young looking 26 yo and got the police called on me for swinging at a park when I was really feeling mentally drained. Thought doing something I enjoyed as a kid would help. Apparently a lady that lived in front of the park saw me and was worried I was a predator? This was three years ago and I've never went back to another park or any place children would be since man shrugging. I felt really stupid and disgusting getting into my car and driving away. Easily one of my lowest moments and now I constantly overthink whether my actions can be misconstrued as predatory or not. No dude. You're good. You did nothing wrong. People overreact a lot these days, seems to me. Maybe they always have, idk. I'm 27 and hope I never lose the child in me. One of my favorite things is when the Big Bounce America comes around to my area. It is so fun to jump in giant bounce houses. I used to feel this way, but as I've gotten older, I just don't enjoy it as much. I take my kids swimming, and I can't enjoy it because the water is just a bit colder than I can tolerate now. I climbed this really cool macrame apparatus at an indoor playground on Sunday, but it hurt my feet, and I was close to getting stuck. Rolling down the hill at the park with my kids made me sick for days. Days. I'm trying not to lose the child in me, and I don't shy away from activities with my own kids, but it's all just sort of miserable now. I hate myself for feeling this way, but I can't help it. I can still play regular sports, catch, run around to play tag, and such, but there's a lot that's off limits now. Even jumping on a trampoline mostly just hurts my back. About to turn 40, parent of a wild three-year-old. You better believe I'm scrambling up and down trees, in and out of forts and just yesterday jumping into puddles hard enough to make sure water gets in our boots. I'm on the swings and slides too. Every so often I'll scare the crap out of another parent who finds me curled up inside of something playing hide and seek lol. Heck, I'll even chase my dog up snowbanks and we'll jump off together. It's not just kids who like to play. Dot. As my kids grow up, I fully intend on playing with them until they don't want to play with me anymore. Being a parent lets me play like I'm a kid again and I love it. I cannot wait for super soaker water guns to be age appropriate. Dot. Reasons why people don't do this. It's exhausting. Kids don't have quit in them. It's also not easy on your body. That's what yoga is for though. Also, I get lots and lots of weird looks and comments from other parents. Mostly moms I find. But they're no fun anyways so screw em. I am not ready for kids in life, 20s. But if I ever am, do make some humans. This a part I'm really excited for. Playing. Lol. I walked through a park with my friend and we stopped and played on the swings. I later saw on my town's Facebook page that a Karen complained about two suspicious looking males in the park. This is why I do not do anything like this anymore. Haha <laughs> oh my god. This is literally awful but kind of funny. Can't people tell the difference between having some fun and being shady? My aunt was in her 80s and climbing the roof to clean leaves. She just didn't let things stop her. She was also tiny and stayed active her whole life. That's the key. Stay active. Dot. As they say. Sitting is the new smoking. My friend and I used to play hide and seek every once in a while at our local park. We still did well into our 20s. But the older we got the more suspicious we looked for being an adult at a park and playing like children. We got the cops called on us. At first we didn't care and just put it past us. Even the cops were like, you two are definitely immature 20 years olds. But you're not hurting anyone so have fun. But then after the third time the cops showed up and said we were called on as being suspicious, we gave up our park adventures. I definitely understand wanting to protect your children, but we would almost never play if we saw that it was busy. In fact most of the time we'd play later in the evening when no one was there. We'd even leave once the lights turned off. Especially in male adults, you don't see them having fun because, again especially men, can't have fun in public places without being accused of being a predator. Yeah, I hate to say it, but if you were similar age women doing the same thing, 
observers would just smile and think to themselves, how cute, they're playing like kids. Good question. I think people think we're too old for that lol. I agree though we should all keep our inner child alive and doing whatever we enjoy. Who cares our age? I'll stop climbing trees when I can no longer walk. Until then, I'll be, safely and carefully, climbing trees. 56 Yo Female. Still play with Legos. Allergic to gravity, but will swing. Won the swing set you pervs. I love this. Keep playing. At 28 I climbed a tree with a few of my nephews and fucked up my back for over a month. I'm not in shape but I'm not in bad shape either. That wonderful middle ground where you're just a noodle. Having fun like a kid isn't worth moaning in pain. I'll stick with my 10 mile treks with my doggo. Stretch. Won't prevent everything and I ain't er doctor but that could reduce chances of injury smiley face. Because most people in their mid-late 30s get hurt themselves from existing too hard. Climbing a tree could be seen as a form of torture to many. Existing too hard. That's amazing. 37 and I live like you. I don't see any reason to stop using my imagination and playing. I love going to the playground. Those splash pad cities have going in the summers are my favorite. I don't climb trees though. I stink at it. I am the absolute favorite adult of my nieces and kids of friends because I will still play with them. I refuse to accept these things as behaviors that should end at a point in your life. Board games, Lego, play dough, coloring. I will never grow old in my brain, ever. Because people will think you're a pedophile, especially if you're male. I agree 100% with you. Just going out and being a goofball sounds fun. Dot. My next door neighbors have like five kids that always play in their front yard. We're all pretty friendly. Shortly after Christmas they got this cool laser tag set that they were playing with outside. I thought, damn that looks fun. I'm gonna ask to play. Then I thought, EHH. People may get the wrong idea. It's unfortunate, but that's the reality. That's why I like adult-oriented adventure parks and barcades.